Hi Gemini, welcome to your November 2019 Love and General reading. I am Gemstone Tarot and I'm using my Gemini mug for the Gemini reading. Look at that. Gemini, it's quite nice isn't it? Gemini the twins and it tells you all about Gemini. Gemini is the sign of communication and dexterity. A typical Gemini is charming and quick-witted. They make lively and interesting companions, often creative and can be involved in the arts and literature, tend to be involved in several projects at the same time. Okay, what do we need to know, Gemini? What's happening for you in November? Using the Palladini Tarot, what does Gemini need to know? Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising. Well, that was a big shuffle. There will be an extended reading and the link, ooh, that came up in the shuffle, is in the description box and I'll pin it in the comments section too. Yeah, we're not reading reversals today, Gemini, and I don't really know why, but we're not. Wow, you got really powerful cards. Wow, one, two, three, four major arcana out of six so far. That's a nice card. Okay. Gemini, as I'm reading these, I've got something in my eye. So there may be something that you need to see in November. We, at the end of October, we have a new moon, we had a new moon in Scorpio. And we're in some very Scorpionic energies. In um, November, we're in uh, Scorpio retrograde, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. Okay, spit it out. This feels really powerful for you. This is the strongest reading I've done for you in a while, actually. You have some conflicting strong emotions. Nine of Swords, Mars in Gemini, of all things, okay? Now this is where someone sat up, I call it my 4am card, the wolf hour. You know, when someone's absolutely um, taken over by paranoia, by jealousy, by negative thoughts, by worry about the future, by putting themselves into the past, putting themselves into the future, not really having the strength to be in the now, okay? This is a situation that's had you on hot coals, walking on hot coals or eggshells or something sharp and uncomfortable that makes you tiptoe and check your step. Some of you may have been experiencing, <coughs> excuse me, um, bad dreams about this person or this thing or this situation, or certainly just, you notice with this, with the Nine of Swords, that the swords are all above the head. Just this feeling of being very trapped in your Gemini and remember what the mug said okay your brain works very quickly you also have the energy of the twins you're also mutable air you can see about 50 different sides to everything all of the time but a lot of those things are driven by mentality and air there is a need, Gemini, in November, and there may be a call for you to do this, to drop into some kind of feelings. A situation with a person which may be characterised by a lot of banter, or a lot of talking, or a lot of emailing for some of you, a lot of back and forth, but in a very head-to-head -head kind of a way, in a very mental mentally stimulating way. So in other words, you may have an enormous intellectual connection 
or you may meet somebody in November where that is the principal exchange between you, okay? There may be loads of chemistry and all the rest of it, but the principal exchange and the most attractive part, and some for some of you, you're already in this situation, and it's a bit of a situationship. You are navigating cleverly, and so are they. It feels like manoeuvring around each other. Interesting. Okay. We've got a knight and we've got a page. The knight of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. The knight of wands comes into a situation, charges into a situation. It's passion and excitement and it's It's a sudden entrance, you know, if your life was a stage, boom, on comes the Knight of Wands and maybe some fireworks or a and he's got something to say, you know, a declaration, whatever it is. But there's something not very straightforward about it. In the middle of your reading, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords to me can be <sighs> spying. Now, spying is quite a heavy word to use and I don't necessarily mean it as in really spying. I mean it, this feels to me, and I don't know what this is, Gemini, that you're doing at the moment with this person, but it feels like one of those Shakespearean plays where everyone's dressed up as a different person with a mask on. And people are hiding behind trees, spying on other people, then reporting back and getting it wrong. You know, all that kind of stuff. Almost a bit of a comedy of errors, but it's not very funny. OK, at least not for you, not the whole time. There's something about the interaction between these very different characters, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. One is rushing in with a passionate declaration and the other one is very carefully looking at things, spying, peeking. For some of you, this is a relationship being conducted over social media principally because of the, remember we said about the emailing and the back and the forth? You could be dealing with a fire sign or a Pisces or a Virgo indeed, or a Taurus though, to be honest. Principally, I'm getting fire signs. Something about this situation, you know, they say in Mercury retrograde and in Scorpio season particularly, that you need to check your drains, okay? Something about this situation has been blocked or stopped or held back for some reason. making my nose run Gemini that's always a sign for me excuse me okay either side of the page of swords which is the internet the spying the media the whatever kind of bits of espionage and the masks and the peeking and whatever it's a bit of a uh, hide and seek going on here. I've got two very interesting Major Arcana cards. We've got the Hermit. And we've got the Hanged Man. Opposite energy. So the Hermit is Virgo and the Hanged Man is Pisces. And these are opposite signs. And they are also both mutable signs like you are. In other words, they adapt, they change they can do this around a situation. There are a few characters in this situation and you're all adapting and changing and manoeuvring around each other. The hermit represents one person who has stayed still. 
And for some of you, this still represents a fire sign for me. The hanged man is a sense of things being suspended. We're in Mercury retrograde, which essentially is a time of things being suspended. It is a time when things feel like they're caught and, you know, trying to move forward, but also trying to move backwards at the same time. You, Gemini, might choose, it's either you or them, and I will look at it in the extended reading. Someone has gone into their cave on this. The hermit goes into his cave and takes the lamp with him. The hanged man is looking for, this is the crown chakra, he's looking and he's hanging upside down so that he can get insight. And the hermit essentially is doing the same. These are two reclusive characters. The hangman generally is um, at a crossroads. The crossroads are generally at the edge of the village. The hermit takes himself or herself off to the edge of um, the popular place to live, goes off to a cave or somewhere that's in solitude, you know, a hut in the woods, whatever it is. It's either, Gemini, that you have done that and the other person is looking at you or looking for you on social media or around or not spying, but looking, searching, or that the other person has done this and that you are searching for them. And for some of you, this could be a situation, particularly if you are dealing with a fire sign, I would say, where somebody came into a relationship with you very quickly, very strongly, very passionately, and then hid somehow, withdrew. With the Nine of Swords, I've got this person directly looking at the Four of Cups. So this is a woman who's in bed worrying. This is a young man who has four cups of love offered to him, given to him, or four months of a relationship, or four years, or whatever it is, that he is not drinking from. It's ambivalence, the killer. Ambivalence not love or hate but it's indifference that will finish you off isn't it this person is taking a pause and there is a sense for you of indifference and that hurts and yet over here i've got the ten of cups the potential is enormous the potential is massive for this connection. Oh yes. <laughs> I had to have the card underneath it, it's the Seven of Swords. This is interesting. I also get here. So the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords are going together. Some kind of deceit or trickery or hiding or like we were talking about before where everybody isn't who they seem to be, like in a comedy play, is holding back this Ten of Cups. And then I have these two major arcana, very strong women. I've got the Empress and I've got Strength. Similar energies for these two. Now, strength represents Leo. We've got the lion. And it has to do with self-mastery. Feminine power. And the empress is Venus. So Taurus and Libra type energy. I can't help but think... It's weird, okay, because I've they seem to be pairs. I'm picking up on a story here. It may be a third party story. We've got the Empress and the Hermit. She is ready, she is developed, she is abundant, she has the Venus energy, and then this Hermit. 
who is ruled by a colder kind of energy. It's more Saturnian, it's more mercurial energy. And then over here, I've got the hangman and I've got the strength. This, is, this sort of says hang in there to me. Somebody's hanging in there. This could be you. Because the situation hasn't quite played out yet and no doubt it will over Mercury retrograde in Scorpio because deep things are coming to light. You also get the Four of Swords, which is making peace with something. Gemini, if you are the one doing the looking, it may be time to switch off the internet, you know, or whatever it is you're looking at. Because for some reason that I don't really understand, seeking answers will push them further away here. Let's do some Chuck Spezzano love cards. Yes. We get the problem card of heartbreak. There has been some of this with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Either there's been some or you don't want some. You're trying to avoid it. Because there's so much major arcana, this must be a very important connection with somebody or something. And we get drought, which is another fear card. A fear that there is no love in the well. You know, there is no ten of cups, that all the cups are empty. For some of you, if you're trying to get over an ex, it's the fear that you'll never feel like that about someone again. Or it's the fear that they, that the love can never flood back in. And then we get the luck card of play. And this is either if you're with this person, spending some time in um, play situations that you wouldn't normally be in to take yourself out of the heaviness of the energy. But for many of you, <clears throat> if this is a person who's hiding from you, While you're, <coughs> sorry, while you're waiting, don't forget to entertain yourself. Now that might mean keeping your options open. Play is often my dating card. You're a Gemini. You can hold lots of different situations at once. You're not giving up on this situational person just because you're keeping your options open. You know that love doesn't really work like that anyway, does it? But it may help to keep your equilibrium while you're in this hanged man and hermit situation and stop you entertaining the crazy that we all entertain at four o'clock in the morning, okay? Interesting reading, Gemini. Yes. The oracle card you get is to the sea. And this is about being able to literally, I mean, it's a bathtub, but push the boat out and let it go with the flow. There's too much manipulating and banter and manoeuvring going on here. Now, if you're not, Gemini does like entertainment and uh, mental entertainment, okay? But I don't think you're finding this very entertaining. I think you're finding this difficult. In which case, it might be time, Hermit Hanged Man, for you to withdraw from the game and play with someone else for a while, okay? So I'm going to go to the extended reading. If you want to join me, I'm going straight there now and click the link in the description box. And we will look at the Hermit, the Hangman, the Empress, Strength and the rest of the major arcana and probably the seven of swords gemini all right so do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the like button and i'll see you soon namaste